Hey Top Crop, season two, middle of June. We're uh, applying some of our Ag Explorer foliar products. We did it this morning. We have some representatives from Ag Explorer out here. Just kind of talk about what we're doing, uh, the different uh, products we've used, kind of the stage of the corn, and you know the benefits of using these certain things. So that's what we're out here doing today. We're gonna look things over. Uh, we might uh, dig a few roots here in a little bit and uh, to see how things are progressing. Uh, ben from Ag Explorer, your last name is Westendorf? That's right, is yep. that the right way to say That's it? That's right, yep. Yeah, yeah. Ben's, uh, I don't know if I want to call him completely local here, because he's in Iowa, That's right? right? And we're in Illinois, so uh, not exactly local, local, but Midwest, uh, Midwest agronomist local. for Ag Explorer. Uh, Suzanne's behind Seth there, hiding. Uh, she's our local Ag Explorer representative. So we got a couple people from Ag Explorer here today looking things over. I'm gonna use your college educated, um, I want you to stage this corn, Ben. Because sure. everybody stages it a little bit different, whether they count the very bottom. The tiller's going on down there or too. Not. Oh, there's a lot of tillers usually, yeah. Go V8, I believe. That's what I would call it, probably V8, yeah. You know, you wanna make sure you have that full collar, but sometimes that Smallest leaf has already somewhat disappeared yep. by now. But do you, how did they teach you? Did they teach you to count the little, the first one? Or? Yeah, yep, yeah. looking for, uh, they're, they're gonna start falling off here. They're burning off the yeah. first couple, yeah. uh, and that's normal. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one hasn't fully set on a collar yet. We're looking for a collar, like on a shirt. Right. Um, right. So we're not quite there yet. So. Right, right. Um, so uh, this corn does have some burnt leaves, which that's my fault. I did that with calcium nitrate on too hot a day. So I won't do that again, but it's grown past that now. It did kind of yellow it up for, didn't look real good for a couple days. But anyway, um, so what we did today, the application today was um, the, the calcium products, what's the proper name of it? Full cal. Full cal, it's a 6% calcium. We put a quarter of that to the acre out. I'm a big believer in calcium. Um, if you look at the tissue samples of like the highest yield guys, they will be high in calcium. And that's sometimes that's it's hard to do with liquid products, but uh, the guys with the highest yields are usually in calcitic soils. They've got base saturations of calcium, you know, some in the 80s, right? You know, I mean, uh, Francis Childs, you remember the old, uh, you may, are you too young? Yeah, I might Francis be too young. <laughs> to remember Francis Childs? Well, he, okay, he's too young for that, but that's back, he was, he held the uh, dryland corn record forever. Um, I think Russell broke it, you know, part of top crop this last year. Uh, and he's in a very calcetic area. I haven't asked Russell just exactly where his are, but high calcium soils will grow really good crops and corn, but you can help with calcium products. You know, we use gypsum, some of these other things, and try to add some different calcium things. So uh, that's that's the reason we're looking at calcium a lot of different times. Uh, we also use potassium acetate. Uh, your version is, is it new, Nutrac? Nutri-K. Nu Nutri-K. Nutri-K, yep. Nutri-K. Okay, which is a potassium, it's a straight potassium acetate, isn't it? That's right, yep. Maybe with a little, is it got any fulvic or anything in it, or just? straight potassium acid. It does have some technology in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so it's just a little different than your normal potassium acetates, but I've used a lot of potassium acetates over the year to help get potassium into the plant a little bit later season. You can have very high potassium levels in the soil, and some of ours are pretty good, but it gets locked up in the soil, and you just it's hard to get it into the plant, you know? So sometimes you got to add some of these different, either foliar or, you know, maybe something you're wide dropping in with some potassium to try to get it immediately available if you're really trying to achieve high yields. So, um, Suzanne, what did we do the foliar pass before this? You did Architect, Architect and KSD, uh, XR5 KSD. Okay, so that would have been, I believe, about V5, V6. We put Architect on this. And the KSB was a, it's a multi, um, it, it's, it's got a bunch of micros, am I right? 
what else? It's got three. It's got yeah. potassium sulfur boron. That's where the oh. KSB comes from. KSB. That's yep. our local hospital. Yep. KSB. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah, Catherine Shaw Metro. <laughs> okay. We're gonna try to stay out of there today. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, wasn't there a few other things in there too? Is that that's the three components? That's the three so, components. That's of the it. Yep. three components. Yep. Okay, so we did that. Uh, before that, at planning, we had two products at planning, didn't we? Was it Octane? It was Adrenaline and Upward. I'm going to let you explain those two products, what they were. Yeah, so Upward and Adrenaline are our two starter fertilizer products. Um, it's not a commodity fertilizer, but they're technologies that go with your starter fertilizer. Um, Upward, what that's really meant to do is, is go in a two by two situation. Works really well in furrow as well, um, but if you're using something like a 1034O um, in a two by two situation, it makes sure that um, fertilizer stays right where you put it and is available to the plant a little later on. Uh, adrenaline is just an absolutely technology packed monster. Um, you'll see just extreme root hair growth um, making that, that cast that bigger net of those roots um, so that the plant can take up those nutrients later on in the season. You know, roots, roots are always key, especially in high yield, and that's one thing we always strive for is um, really good roots, and, and that can come through added products or good, you know, good soil biology helps with that too, no mm -hmm. compaction and all mm -hmm. that. You know, we use some manure, so um, lots of times we have pretty decent roots, but if you can enhance that, there's sure nothing wrong with that. So yep. anyway. This got architect, you said? Yes, yes. And I don't know, when you, what do you normally see from Architect? Architect, what we're looking at is, uh, if you would take a, do you have any untreated stuff around Not here? Right. It's all treated? Well, yes we do. So we, if you would just, take we a- We just have to walk over to it. That's yeah. all right. So if yeah. you were to take the same physiological leaf from the ground up, so if we go fifth leaf up untreated, we have to go fifth leaf up on the untreated. Yeah. And what you would see, if you would lay the untreated over the treated, this is what you would see. You would see a bigger leaf. Le bigger with the, leaf. With the Architect, yeah. Okay. Bigger, fatter, wider leaf. Um, then we paired it with a sulfur or KSB, KSB, right? Right. So then we're packing the, the food within that plant, within that leaf. So then later on in the season when we need it to fill that kernel, um, we have it there. We call that source to sink movement. So. And wider leaves is obviously more photosynthesis, more, yep. you know, everything going on. There. Also within that architect is a, a micronutrient package uh, to support photosynthesis as well. So Yeah, I think I noticed there was some of that in there. Yep, also. nothing there is going to fix a deficiency, just the right amount to support photosynthesis. Right, okay. All right, um, let's move back into the kind of just off the end rows here. Unless there's something you want to look at in here, I don't want to dig any right here because I consider this contest corn sure and I hate to yeah I hate to dig here. them out yep. <laughs> in here but on the end rows right here we can sure. dig some you bet. if you want to do that so